Good afternoon and welcome to the last 60-second lecture of the spring. I'm Paul Snigowski, the Stephen A. Levin Family Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. 60-second lectures have been a Penn Arts and Sciences tradition since 2003. In that time, we've heard from our diverse faculty on more than 150 topics, ranging from lost medieval words to unequal life chances to the threat of climate change. As the world faced unprecedented challenges in 2020, the series went virtual and gave scholars an opportunity to share insight and expertise on the global COVID-19 pandemic and the persisting legacy of racism. This spring, we're featuring lectures on a variety of topics. Today, we'll hear from Jean-Christophe Cloutier, an associate professor of English. Jean-Christophe studies translation, narrative, medicine, aging, and science fiction. His teaching and research also involve popular culture, notably comics and cinema. He regularly teaches comic studies, including Making Comics, a creative writing seminar with cartoonist Rob Berry. His books include Shadow Archives, The Life Cycles of African American Literature, which won awards from the Modern Language Association and the Modernist Studies Association. Today, he will talk about Being Stuck Here, Comics Lessons for Pandemic Living. I hope you enjoy his talk. To see our entire library of lectures, visit us on the Penn Arts and Sciences website or the Penn Arts and Sciences Vimeo library. Now, here's Jean-Christophe Cloutier. Hi, I'm Jean-Christophe Cloutier, Associate Professor of English here at Penn. Welcome to year two of Pandemic Living. Are you enjoying yourself? If you're anything like me, this means that you've been stuck in the same location for quite a while. So what I'd like to talk about today is how comics can help us better understand or appreciate enrich our lives when we're stuck in the same location. More specifically, I'd like to talk to you about Richard McGuire's six-page comic, Here, from 1989. So here's the first page, and every page follows the same grid pattern. Six square panels arranged symmetrically for a total of 36 panels. As you can see, the first panel shows the corner of a room in an apparently empty house. Then, in the top left corner of every subsequent panel, McGuire inserts a year number. The first three are 1957, then 1922, then 1971, and so on. The panels move through past and future without obvious logic. Quickly, the panels begin sprouting other panels insets from other years. These insets start to create a kind of palimpsest, uh, a kind of where layers of time are superimposed upon the same space. But as we move through time, we never ever move through space. We are stuck here. Just as it begins with the room, we will eventually see the moment when the house is first being built and the future where it will be demolished. The comic expands our historical sense to recognize all sorts of other lives that have inhabited this same space, whether it's the primordial ooze, the dinosaurs, farm animals, the very trees that used to be there before the house was, or, of course, the indigenous native tribes who thrived here before settler colonialism. And here on the final page, you see the owner of the house in 2027 saying, you know that guy who used to live here? And underneath him, we see the 1987 owner of the house. And underneath him, we see the 1850 owner of this land, the Native American lying there. So if you're in Philadelphia right now, then you're actually in Shakamaxon on the land of the Lenape. So among here's many lessons is to encourage a deeper historical sense, an eco-critical awareness, a reminder of settler colonialism legacy of displaced lives, and really that we ourselves are mere transient occupants of this space. Really, this pandemic has been a blip or maybe a panel in time, and maybe soon we'll get to get out of here. 